Thinking Media in association with Box. So, Mr. Ronnie Shields in the house. Um, I just want to start off with the, your, your guys' fight with uh, Zang. I just spoke to Zang, he mentioned something about a gloves controversy. Uh, he's given his version of events, so I just wanted to get yours there. Well, the, the gloves, uh, the way they made the gloves is, they don't have padding on the knuckles. The padding is on, at, the front, at the front of the hand and the back of the hand, but not at the knuckles. And that's the illegal gloves. So the commission is coming to the hotel, and we're going to we're going to sort it out. What happens in these situations? Is it a case of back and forth till you guys come to a resolution? Or what if he stands his ground and says, that's all I'm wearing? Well, you know, it's going to be my fighter's decision. My fighter's the one that got to get in the ring. And for illegal gloves, I mean, when they look at those gloves, you can see a big hole in the middle of the gloves. And that's right there, you can see that. You know, so that's illegal. So. So we'll see when we get back. The commission is coming over. We're going to, first thing we're going to do, put the gloves on a scale, and then I'm going to let my fighter look at those gloves. And if he say hell no, then it's hell no. Then it's no fight. Definitely. And it's obviously no secret Phillips struggled to get opponents. You know, a lot of fighters have withdrawn out of contests with him. So do you have a bit of respect and maybe a, a bit of, uh, not fear, but do you know what I mean, if, from somebody like Zang who's willing to take uh, Philip on? No, it's no fear. I mean, it's no fear. You know, these guys are fighters. This is what they do. But, you know, everybody holler about fighter safety. Where's the safety in the gloves? You know, you're supposed to have padding in the gloves. If you don't have no padding, then he has no business wearing those gloves. That's how people get injured. People get hurt. And, you know, and if we don't look after the fighters, then what, what the hell are we doing? Definitely, sir. Just want to quickly get your opinion on the main event. A lot of people expected Usyk to come in a lot heavier. It looks like he's about the same weight. Uh, are you surprised by that? Yeah, I was very surprised because, uh, you know, uh, the, the pictures I saw of him online, I mean, he looked really big. But, you know, maybe they just doctored those pictures up to make them think that he was really, you know, getting bigger. That's all I could think. But, look, both guys are good fighters, and it's going to be a hell of a fight. I know you've been asked about it before, but in short, uh, I know AJ, you know, came out and tried, trialed yourself out as well as a trainer. What kind of advice would you be giving him if he was in his corner? From round one, what would you say to him to do? Well, I think he just has to be more aggressive. You know, he has to make a statement right from the very beginning. And if he does that, he puts something on Usyk's mind. And that's what he has to do. Great stuff, sir. And what is your prediction for that, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, you know, I think AJ, if AJ comes out, and be himself and do the things that I know he's capable of doing. I say AJ. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to add? Anything else about your fighters, you know, that you're training as well? Oh, I mean, you know, I, I got two words having David Morrell and Jamal Charlo, you know, and both guys got fights. Well, uh, David Morrell has a fight in October. Jamal Charlo, not as, as of yet, but, you know, both guys will be in the ring soon, though. Would you like to see Jamal in with it? Because uh, everyone's wanted him to take on, like, you know, unification fights and the, the big names. Uh, even though he's proven himself, you know, you still got a lot of critics, people saying they want to see him in big fights. Yeah, of course. He wants to fight the big fights. You know, the offer was made to Canelo. You know, he turned down a lot of money in order to fight Jamal. And, you know, Triple G was offered the fight. And now you see what's happening. Triple G is fighting Canelo. So it, it's those guys that don't want to fight, not Jamal. Do you think maybe PBC are going to have to be open to work with other promotional companies? Is that maybe the issue? Say it again? Do you reckon the issue is, you know, the promotional outfits not being able to work with each other, like The Zone, Matchroom and PBC? Well, it's, it's, the, it's the television. You know, when you have guys that has contracts, like Jamal has a contract with Showtime. Now, one, one fighter from Golden Boy has a contract with The Zone. Only Delahoya, the promotional company, has the contract. So the fighters basically can say, hey, we want to go over there and make this money and, and take this good fight, you know? So that's, that's up to the fighters. That's interesting. That is, that's basically the, the reason behind a lot of the fights aren't getting made. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And look, it, it's nothing to be mad at because, you know, Showtime has, has their guys, The Zone has their guys, and, you know, everybody else has their own guys too. So, like, Top Rank got ESPN, you know, and... These guys got contracts, you know, and like I said, except for the zones, they have a contract with Oscar De La Hoya, not with the fighters. 
interesting stuff that. Thank you for your time, Mr. Shields, and uh, I wish you all the best Saturday night. Thank you.